everyone welcome back to a new vlog if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video my name is Georgina and I sort of do like lifestyle vlogs videos work from home and I thought I would just start this vlog off in the car sometimes I do that and I've got my yoga class in 10 minutes it's Sunday today and I had a really good weekend so far and it should be be better as well this today uh i've got an hour and a half yoga class which i desperately need and i like this yoga class because it's a mixture of like a workout and also just a real good meditation um focusing on like breathing etc so that's really really good and then i'm gonna go to my parents and have some food like a late brunch and then i am so excited going to a someone's house to do a macaroon baking course there was a christmas one uh, in december but i thought i would save it to the new year uh i don't really have like a bucket list per se but i have things that i would like to do throughout my lifetime for example to give you an idea i really want to grow my own pumpkin like a proper pumpkin and which i have tried to do but you know still got a long time hopefully to to do that and i also want to learn how to make macaroons properly it is not the easiest thing to do and so I thought, right, you know what, new year, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to start to learn how to make them and then practice at home and hopefully, you know, be a be a pro. Anyway, I'm going to go in, get myself sorted, uh, get myself all stretched out, um, and then I will see you in a bit. really bright now this is probably not the most flattering angle but hey ho beautiful blue skies behind me just finished the yoga class it is oh my gosh what time is it 11 50 it was amazing although i must say i think i've just got a lot of pent-up energy at the moment the meditation at the end i was just i couldn't concentrate i was away with the fairies thinking about all sorts of things amazing i feel so stretched out uh Dale's for this now absolutely rammed so I'm very glad to be leaving <laughs> and uh yeah I'm gonna drive off to my mum and dad's for some food and then get ready for our cooking course We have just <laughs> finished our course. What do you think? Very good. Yeah, I think you were better than me. <laughs> no. I, I, I messed up on the second instruction step, didn't I? But we'll show you what they look like when we get home. Did you, did you enjoy it? I did. We go nice. back? Yes, nice people. Do like um, a Halloween one or something. Oh, it's yeah, been dark. Not, a, not a complicated one and where it's like four yeah. different things. Yeah. 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 See you at home. <laughs> 
Wow. <laughs> I put coffee in mine, same Charlie's not here. Mine's coffee. Oh, mine's fantastic. Look at mine sparkle. It's really good. I had half a one. I was yeah. the one we ended up with half one. Oh, well, Mum's done a coffee after. and it's like a, well, you've got... No, just have one. No, 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 have the half. Dinner. Well, you can have the half. Good morning. It is Monday. I have just come back from my Pilates class feeling like quite good today, actually. It's quite a hard class, but very good timing because look what has arrived. So, the lovely team at Protein World has sent me some goodies, so I'm going to unbox them with you. And I think I've got kind of one of everything. So, when I work with Protein World, I like to use their slender plan rather than like the building muscle plan. Just because, you know, January and after the sort of Christmas period, I'm probably more focused on that side. And then sort of as it gets to summer, I'm more about like building muscle. So there's quite a few things in here that I'm really excited about. The first one is the mug cake and it's cookies and cream. Okay, if anyone has known me for a long time, Oreo and cookies and cream is like my favorite flavor of anything. I went to a macaroon, the macaroon class that I was in yesterday, which you've seen earlier in the vlog, cookies and cream flavored. So I've got the mug cake and I don't have a microwave. <laughs> So I'm going to attempt to make it in the oven and I think it's gonna be fine. I think it'll just take like a little bit longer. So I'm gonna make this, but I think I'm gonna make it in like a bread tin rather than a mug. So there's more of it, so yum. And then I have already used the pancake mix and it's the gingerbread one and I was using it over Christmas and this is just um, like just a normal pancake flavor. So this is probably better for breakfast. I am really surprised not really surprised but surprised at how well this forms sometimes when you make pancakes i feel like you need to let it sit for an hour in the fridge this is really good this doesn't need that and it comes out in such like a nice smooth texture so very actually i think i'm gonna make these tomorrow yeah i'm gonna have pancakes tomorrow the last thing that i have is some porridge i go through these pretty quickly i love this i kind of mix it with a little bit of granola as well to give it more of a crunch but this is so easy i mean everyone knows how to make porridge this is the um, like biscuit flavor can you look at that oh my god i don't actually put biscuits in my porridge because i have too much energy for that so again this is in the slender plan and if you want to purchase any of these my cat has just gone into the cupboard where all of these are even he wants to have a go <laughs> i have a little discount code that is just here for 40 percent for zero not 14 for zero percent off the like individual elements so if you do a subscribe it I, um like a subscription one it doesn't count but if it's just like an individual one and that's everything that's your porridge mug cake like the vitamins that they have which is so so good i'm on my third bottle of the sleep one that magnesium because i need the help when i sleep and um what else i mean there's so much on there and also the other plan if you are looking to like build muscle it's carlos approved he was just looking in the in the cupboard so yeah go on, buy some protein world stuff <laughs> i need to go i need to wash it's today's hair wash day so i need to put the jizu mask in my hair and all my oils and funky stuff but you've seen that in a previous vlog so i'm not going to show that but yes i will see you when i'm all um cleaned up and my hair's all done yay looking a little bit more presentable and I thought I would just round off this video with some of my favorites that I will be carrying into 2023 some that I bought recently and some that I've been using for a while so I've kind of split it into categories I've done fashion beauty like books tv shows tech that sort of thing I really love an old-fashioned favorites video I really enjoy when people do like monthly favorites whether it be makeup or food or finances or whatever 
and I thought I would do it as I haven't done it in a while so let's kick off so both of these things I've already dug into I'm gonna start with food and I have two items number one the white chocolate Terry's chocolate orange. There's not much I really need to explain about this. It's a white chocolate version of the milk chocolate Terry's chocolate orange and it's delicious and I love it. I'm really having a white chocolate thing at the moment. And on that note, I have these Tim Tams, which I've not had in 10 years because they're Australian and uh, my colleague who came over before Christmas asked if I wanted anything and I said yes please, some white chocolate Tim Tams. So I've got two packets. As you can see, I have gotten through them pretty quickly, but yes, big love for these. Number two, technology. Two very quick things. Number one is actually the ring light that is behind you right now. It is dark, it is winter, it's hard to film, especially because I've got a job to do, so I only really film either at the weekends or the evenings, and it's just really helping me to kind of keep up to date. This was a gift from my lovely girlfriends for my birthday this summer, so if I can find one or find one similar, I will put it in my description box down below with some links for very similar ones. It's really helpful, it's on a tripod, it's got like different settings, cool, warm, normal, that sort of thing. And my second thing, this is so boring, but I honestly love this stuff. This is from Amazon as well, and I need to get another one so I can keep it upstairs. This is a lighter for all of my thousands of candles, and it is rechargeable, and it's got a little like, it is, yeah, it's brilliant, and it warns you when it's running out of battery. It's safe, you can kind of put like a child lock on it if you have any little ones running around. But yeah, it's so easy, and I, I do honestly feel like it lights candle wicks quicker, so need to get a second one of these. And so far this has lasted me quite a long time. Okay, section number three, fashion. I'm not like the biggest fashion person in the world, but I love a good statement investment piece. I've been keeping an eye out on some check jackets and I think I may have mentioned this in my vision board video, which I made a few weeks ago, if you haven't already seen it. And there was a picture of a girl wearing sort of like a black outfit, some nice Gucci, Gucci loafers, and a beautiful brown tech jacket. And I thought, gosh, that's so timeless. It's something that people have been wearing for decades and it hasn't gone out of style. And so I really want to invest in a decent quality wool base jacket. And I got one in Sandro. So I absolutely love this. The lining is stunning. It's this gorgeous red satin. And I don't know what the A is for, because <laughs> Sandro begins with an F. The back looks like so, and you have the collar. It's got some, it's got brown, green, and black running through the threads, and it's really heavy. So I found that when we're sort of in this weird in-betweeny weather, if I have like a polo neck on and maybe a vest, I just need this on top and it will keep me warm. It is single breasted with one button. I feel like the buttons are really, really good quality and um, pockets, which I can put quite a lot in actually. So what's in here? Oh, scrunchy. This has been a well-worn piece already and I really feel like I'm getting the most out of it. I got this in the sale as well. Sandro always does really good sales, so check it out. Number two in my fashion segment are these gorgeous boots. I like the jacket, have been wearing these non-stop since I bought them. These were on my Christmas list, but I was very lucky to get some other bits and bobs. I had a look at the link that I had sent and they were 40% off. So I'm glad I waited. These are from John Lewis. I shall link them. They're just like a fake croc, like leathery uh, Chelsea boot and they have that sort of elasticated side and a very important pull on because there's no zips so you do have to like pull on the, the boot. The heel isn't too high. I find this, I just find them really comfortable and they really elevate a boring look. If I just wear leggings and a jacket, this makes it look 10 times more formal and put together. So, big fan of these. Okay, I'm going to do Brute Beauty. I'm going to split it into two. So, I've got like face, makeup, etc., skincare, and then hair care. So, I've got two things for hair care. Annoyingly, I cannot find it for the life of me. So, I'm going to have to buy it full size. But I'll put a little picture here of what I'm talking about. It is the Jizu hair mask. I used it in one of my previous videos from two weeks ago, I think. And it is so good. I initially hated this product. I put it through my roots. It hated it. It weighed it down, made it really oily. I had to wash my hair about three times to get it out. And then I read the instructions properly and I just put it in my... So when my hair needs a wash, I put it in just this section of my hair. I tie it up in a bun, I leave it for about an hour, and then I thoroughly wash it out. My hair, honestly, 
there are a few things that make my hair unbelievably soft and the other one there's a Kerastase, I think it's like Chromafique or something, Chronologiste, black, it's in a black um, packaging and it's a hair mask with a gold top. It, it's not cheap so I normally try get it on sale on All Beauty but yes, I'm loving these hair products. I'm gonna buy the full price one, especially if I can't find it, I have no idea where it's gone. So the next thing is the Color Wow Volumizing Mousse. I love mousse, I've always used these, even ever since I was younger, I remember I used the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette <laughs> Volumizing Mousse. And I really like this one. I also really like the Living Proof one that I bought when I was in New York. And again, I can't find that, so I have no idea where I'm putting these things. Pretty much does what it says in the tin, pop it in your roots give it a big massage and then it is heat activated and it kind of, um, it works. So what more can I say? So I'll do beauty and skincare last as I have more of them, but I want to just do TV and books and I have been reading this. This, if you haven't recognized him, is Matthew Perry from Friends and other amazing TV shows and films. And I bought this, it just, I saw that I first saw an interview doing press about the book which obviously has worked because I bought it and I thought it was so fascinating and very brave of him to spill every last detail of what he's been suffering for pretty much his entire adult life. If you're a fan of Friends, if you're a fan of him or you want to find out a little bit more about like addiction and alcoholism, it's fascinating. I've learned so much about this, about the subject and I highly recommend it. Also, it does have a lot of kind of behind the scenes friends, things that I never knew, sort of a lot about how the TV series started and how they all met and how he nearly didn't get the role as well. So big fan of this. I'm nearly finished. I have a tiny bit left to go, but yeah, this is amazing. I commend him for pouring everything out into this book. So I have two TV uh, favourites. Number one is Andor. So I have been really enjoying what Disney Plus have been putting out for like The Mandalorian, Boba Fett, Andor. I wouldn't say I'm like the biggest Star Wars fan in the world, but I just have been loving these. Uh, originally my brother got me onto The Mandalorian. It is so well put together. The production is unreal. I'm pretty sure John Favreau is the producer, director, etc. Big fan. So I've just finished that and I've even watched the first three episodes again. <laughs> it's that good. And then the second thing is Kaleidoscope. So I only watched the first episode last night, but it is so good. Um, it's one of those weird programs where you can watch uh, each episode in any order and it's got quite a few stars in it. I'm loving it so far and I'm really hoping further into 2023 I can watch these sorts of TV series that really make you think, sort of heist related, fun crime TV shows. I love that sort of stuff. Okay, and to finish off, I have four beauty and skincare sort of products. The first one is a lipstick that I have, I bought this a while ago. This is a 2022 purchase. But I've been really into using my products like in a multi-purpose way. So this is just a classic red lipstick. This is a beautiful shade called Gabrielle. It's a classic shade by Chevelle. But I've been using it on my cheeks. So I've been blotting a tiny bit on my lips, not to give a full like Taylor Swift red lip look, but just my cheeks and I can just pack this instead of a blush and it's just so much easier. The next thing that also was a 2022 purchase is this. As you can see, I've only got the tiniest bit left, but I do have backup. This is the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Tinted Serum. I am not a full coverage girl. I like to let my skin breathe, especially because I do have skin concerns and I don't want to cover up too much. I love this. Skincare plus makeup in a bottle. What more can you want? It's actually not too bad um, price-wise for the amount that you get. I feel like it goes a long way. It's really nice and light. I know there's nothing in it, but it's quite a light product. It's not a glass bottle, even though they're easier to recycle, but it's great for traveling and I do my makeup on the train pretty, pretty often. So yes, you can see I love this because there's hardly anything left. But I'm really enjoying this. I mean, you only have to look at Rosie Hunterton Whitley or Whiteley's skin to see that something is working. So big fan. It has recently got pretty cold uh, here in the UK and I'm really suffering with my lips. So the one thing that I am reaching for in this cold weather at the moment is the Bioderma Lip Balm. Not much to say really. It's a really nice packaging and it is a creamy lip balm that I absolutely love. 
and it really does do a good job especially if you have any chat bits like even above your lips or below going out for the dog walks in the morning has definitely wreaked some havoc on my skin so i really like this it does what it says on the tin and my last favorite of this little section of the vlog is this i go to bamford for my pilates and yoga classes etc and whenever i use their facilities they always have this hand lotion and the matching hand soap which is in my bathroom over there and it smells so good and it just is it makes me feel really calm less anxious it's got lavender in it which is probably why this did used to say um like geranium lavender and something else but now it's just called geranium and it's really nice to have on your desk or by your bedside on your bedside table or in your bathroom guest bathroom it smells so good i haven't really used this on my body i've just kind of used it on my hands and just up here but love this. It smells like a spa. It makes me feel relaxed. It does a good job moisturising. Bon appetit. <laughs> it's perfect. I love it. So that's it for today's vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed it. It's a bit of a mixed one. But I have some good videos coming up soon. I just need to find time to film it all. I hope you've enjoyed. Again, don't forget my protein world code is down below. I hope you find some goodies. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. I post weekly on a Wednesday. I hope to see you back next week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.